Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve the fake high speed effect based on Peter McKinnon's video. But instead of Photoshop, we are going to use Affinity Photo, of course. So let's jump right in. So the first thing we want to do is go to File and open a picture that has leading lines or a street or just something then that lines up to the horizon really well. These pictures tend to work the best with this technique. So next step, you right click and duplicate the layer or Control J. And then uh, you hit the upper layer, add a layer mask. And now we add the filter. So that's a blur filter and it's the zoom blur right away. So you can see we already have the effect. And you can choose the middle point of the effect. So I choose it here, right at the end of the street. I will also make this a little more intense, somewhere up here. And now I want this part to be sharp again. So now we hit apply and then we go to the brush tool or just use B. Uh, we use the black color to paint and a really low hardness, like 2%, and a really big like 4000, 5000 pixel for this picture. Now you make sure your layer mask is selected and not the layer itself. And now you simply can hit left mouse button and paint it out. Or paint it bigger as much as you want. I think I like this this way. So that's about it for the high speed effect. I think I'm going to crop the picture a little bit because it's not that interesting he up here. Something around this. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any request regarding Affinity Photo or Capture One, please let me know in the comments below. And have a nice day. Bye bye.